Hey guys, Mick Reaps here and welcome back to The Witcher 2. You find me in the bedroom of a lovely young maiden who's sleeping. What can I say? Geralt has that effect on women. It was a great night for Geralt. He enjoyed every second of it. And then we went to Robin. Wait, can we see in that mirror? Oh, that's pretty good. Can't see what's actually there, but it's still quite cool. Um, I tell a lie, it's still the same day. We literally just came in here and found this young filly just chilling out, lying on her bed. She's snoring, she's got like terrible snoring habits, bless her. She's got a tennis ball, put a tennis ball underneath her. Hey, what? She, she actually snores like a man, which is kind of freaking me out. I'm not going to go check if there's a gentleman sausage underneath that little skirt. You never know. You never know with these RPGs. I don't want to even wake her up. Or him. What's this pub called? Man raided. Raided in the back. That's the village idiot. We've seen the village idiot already. So there's a wee market going on over here. Fiverranti. Yeah, I guess so. Rita won't let you traders out until it suits him. Seems he needs you here for some reason. What's that supposed to mean, damn it? Is he organizing some international trade fair? I'm a subject of King Demavend. And I tell you, Demavend's dead. Ah. Yeah, there you go. We're not going to roll any dice, because it was embarrassing when I rolled one up. In fact, let's roll some dice. Let me see if I can beat this. Oh, okay, yeah, let's go. You want to play that game? Oh, stay in there. What we got? Three fives? Oh, you're getting wasted. So, boink, boink. I'm raising this bad boy to ten. Come on. Oh, you give in? Okay, thanks very much. Have a lovely day. You are very easy. Fever Ranty, you're not going to give me your old bullshit, are you? Good. Right, so would you have bought stuff for more money? Did they buy it for different, different money? Oh, can we check and wait? Holy shit balls! we got 34. So that's in weight, that's in coin. What's that in? No idea. Oh, alphabetical order. And that's in order of getting it, maybe? Possibly. I'm not sure. I got a book about dragons, do you want to buy it off me? You're not getting it for free, no way. What have you got for sale? Let's have a look. Dust, diamond dust. Why would we make diamond dust? Oh, you know what? We should probably get these diagrams of what? Which diagrams do we have? We've got formulas. Essence of water, leather. Cloth and oil, some necrophage skin. Oh, yeah, we should definitely be buying these for sure. Do we have any of these? How much is that? 97? Hmm. You know what? We'll come back. We've got books. We'll come back. You've got good stuff, but we'll come back. What, do you like me or something? No, I want to talk to you. Am I pushing you? Anyway, we're going to... That's enough bumbling around for this episode. 
we're going to do the quests for sure. I get so distracted in games like this. Ryan, how are you doing? You're just spitting your bottle, that's disgusting, man. Marty Beaver, how are you doing? Let's trade. What have you got? You are selling cucumber. Why would I buy your junk? Wait, have I got junk for you? Oh, I've got junk for you, alright. Holy moly. Holy moly, okay. Can I sell all junk? Is that, a, is that an option? Was that selling them? There you go. Junk sold. Not going to mess with any of that. Don't need trophies. Portions I'm going to keep. And you're not worried about the other stuff. Have you got anything in here to steal? Borrow. Where's Zoltan? There's Zoltan there. Can we not get names above people? Is that a thing that we can do? Oh. Whoops. Hey, hey. No. Wow. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to upset you, guard. Roach is asleep. We want to speak to Dandelion, please. Do not get to do that. I'm in the tavern. I'm trying to talk with my friends. Can we? There we go. <laughs> Damn, that was close. Inkeep, vodka, tris marigold, lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be all right. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody mm -hmm. tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltest died. And the dragon. Was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. Choke on your The dragon. Well, the dragon appeared, but that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltis might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. Hey, hey, I never, I never clicked that. I clicked. You've seen what I clicked. I clicked about the marriage. Baron Kimbleton, Count Merivale, I bet. Among others, after the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. <laughs> Humans. In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Uh oh. Uh, mages were exiled, right? Let's have a look. The mages. Hi. Where were the great eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited. Neither was I. But if not for their intervention. Or rather, that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John of Talos remains our only one. Ah, the victor at Brenna. And Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. 
During the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavnet Labs, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, a tenuous one, sure. But that's always better than civil war. This is true. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart, as sorceress, holds significant stake. Yeah, let's not talk about politics. What what happened to your wedding, Zoltan? No wedding, Zoltan. <laughs> the Bregan Riggs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would-be popular law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand double with a pair of Garibaldi crack owls and as a gift from Jorah, a J-stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. <laughs> oh dear. That is a great brothel. ...sat us down and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on to dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have had the pimp. Old Brecken rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine. Not chase his fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, girls, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrick says. Then proceeded to slurp two full balls of the shite. No oh, thoughts. dear. Of his mind caves in on his head. Oh, shit, we're just going to call him out. I don't think he's joined it. Yeah, how long have you worked for Roach? Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey, nobody said a word when you went out to save Tamaria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that wasn't very supportive. It was well, pretty good, though. Way. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Tamaria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. You know what I've got to do? I've got to turn down this music. The music is just too loud. Not better? Or put the dialogue volume up. One of the two. Maybe like that? Because the music's nice. There. Hey, hey, I never... I never meant to cut you off, I'm sorry. Lurido said you're working with the Scoia'tael, Zoltan. That's better. I've had many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoia'tael don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoia'tael. Okay, let's, let's get on with it. Voltest's killer lay in wait in the tower. The Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. Who did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. You're with Scoia'tael were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Greetings. Uh-oh. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! Oh dear, what beast? We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. Who put the end up in the clouds? Oh shit. This isn't going to end well. It's just a eel.
This guy's running around in his underpants. What's that all about? What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? She can't hear you. Beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Yeah, but just look at her. All right, tell me all about the monster. All right, what happened? I came to Flotsam to kill the Cairn. Cairn? The monster that has effectively blocked the port. A moment ago, I had the good fortune to see it in all its splendor, but the local folk scared it away. Good fortune? You hear that, Sozek? That was some good fortune for you. Why is the beast in the port all of a sudden, eh? Summoned by the witch, perchance? To wait, see watch. it in all what its witch? splendor. We're going to keep the peace or intimidate him? Um. Yeah, I guess we could tell them to go fight it themselves. Nah, let's try to keep the peace. Sozek doesn't look too good. Lay him inside somewhere. Right, we've dawdled enough already. Come on, lads. Let's go. What's this? I was ready for a rumble there. Shut it and come on. We used our Jedi Witcher main tricks. But I am Louis Merce. And I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairn, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? Yes, we are. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway. As the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. Okay. In that case, don't let me keep you. We got us another sorceress. Why are all sorceresses so How long must I wait for damn hot? To introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville. Advisor to Queen Zulika Kovir. Kovir is a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold. Sharp as ever. You're thinking that. Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species. To throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh, oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact, too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? It was... It, must be it was hentai. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. You're partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairn emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. Wait, about a month ago? Look around, find out a few things. Is it Alvin? Hmm. Has Alvin done all this? Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward. Pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there, on the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Oh, oh. Thanks for the warning. Yep. Yeah. Lock your door if you got your bed. That's all we can see. Find out what happened on the pier. We've seen what happened. Talk to Cedric. Mar always said, go ask the mason to take you as his apprentice. Talk to the merchants on the waterfront. I've all 
Say something, or did you just fart? Nah, that's just fine. Going somewhere, friend? Yep. Gonna go talk to the merchants on the pier. If you don't mind, that's that's cool with you. Or would it be these merchants? Or would it be the merchant with an exclamation mark? It'd probably be the merchant with an exclamation mark. Wait, so we've got this one. Indeed, it was the people that had said an unlucky victim lay on the spear. A rile crowd surrounded him and was commenting on the events. Among the onlookers stood the sorceress who sealed Tanzaraville. Tanzaraville? Tanzaraville. The witcher and the sorceresses, sorceresses chain exchange a few words before she asked Geralt for help hunting down the dangerous beasts. First, they need to identify the species. Right, he'll he'll show us the way. Uh, when it does sells contract, contract, contract. Yep, ba da ba da. Sorceresses never do anything out of the kindness of the hearts, and for the simple reason, they're stone instead of hearts. Sale said that she had enough of talking and wouldn't lift a finger against the monster until the price of the contract was set. The artless witch would never have thought to do things that way. But since sorceress, since a sorceress lifting her finger can be a mighty helpful in any situation, particularly ones that involve killing human monsters, our hero went to haggle with the merchants. We will go do that. But I want to... I don't know, do I want to sleep for the night? Let's see where this guy is. Where you be? So you're over there. Right. We've got a few things to be done. You got anything on that boat for me? Greetings. Hey buddy, how are you doing? Welcome. What damn it? You're not very nice. You guys have got nothing for me. Waste of my time. Waste of my life. There was a guy over here. Oh blue blue man. Wait, wait, that was... Don't try anything stupid. Hey there. Oh, I kinda want to hit him. Ever seen the river monster, the Kairin? I have, but I'm not the talkative kind. Let's Jedi main trick him. Ha ha ha. Glowy eyes. As big as a barn, with giant tentacles. Snatches men from boat heads and cattle off the shore. It's slimy like a snail, but fast as a thirsty vampire. So we can... Can we put a cow on a hook? Is that it? Dustin, you want to talk anymore? Know anything else. All right, jeez. I need to get so aggressive. Yeah, use that. We're coming in. Dustin, is this your house? It's a lovely pad you've got. Hardened leather. Okay, you can make something pretty for sure. Diamond dust. Coming up. Wait, what's this on the wall? Nothing. Up you go, Geralt. Really, in that big thing, all it had is twain. I want to go further up. Ascend again, not descend. No? Wait, claim. Nope. That's the wrong thing, put that away. Behave yourself, man. There better be something out here. God, I hate you. Hate you, game. Somebody's going to be up here at some point. Right, down we go. Down. Down we go. Good lad. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. 
Go see old Cecil. Or should we go the other way and see the merchants first? Maybe the merchants first. Wait. You're a harbour whore. Malagy. Wait. Oh, sorry. I'm... Yeah, form a queue. Wait, you're a pimp? Okay. Guess he wants. Whitehead one. I have an offer. Where's your other leg? Are you leaning on the wall? Yeah, you're leaning on the wall. Okay. Your hands are in such an unnatural position for leaning on the wall. I thought you lost your leg in a war. Okay, what you got to tell me? You look a bit jesty. white-haired one. I could do with your help. You see. I'm looking for a certain formula. Which one? Herbalist. I know who you are. I'll be straight. Find the formula and you'll earn a sizable pouch of orans. Sounds good. Yeah, which, which one are you after? Sounds good. What do you want me to do? The formula is in the hands of a certain shopkeeper. Uh -oh. Can you go and see him yourself? He deals in incense. One type is particularly popular. I think what he sells is hard. Is a drug yet, dealer? I need the formula to prove it. The scoundrel knows that and is very cautious. Yet I assume you, as a witcher, have your ways. Okay. What I can do. What shopkeeper is it? The scent of incense. Get the recipe. Oh, for the poisonous. Okay, yeah, we'll get poison off the street. We'll clear float, floats them up. Does it say? Do you like the scent of incense? Then listen, Geralt met a scholar at the harbour. The man claimed that one of the local shopkeepers sold incense producing poisonous smoke. He could not prove the murderous trade without producing this, uh, producing a recipe for the incense. Geralt promised to get it. That doesn't help me. That doesn't help me at all. Fucker. Oh, we know where all, all a lot of the formula guys are. Wake up, buddy! Could be a cracking popping up any second. Hey, I was here. I was here before. What, what are we looking at here? Who are you? Hey, amigo. Oh no, I'm not talking to a freak. Wait a minute. Be off, or I'll call the guards. I will stab you. People, the mutants pursuing me. Yeah. People. The mutants pursuing me! Wait a minute. Are you a merchant? Yes. Well, you're a merchant. You won't even give me the option. Jeez, you guys are. Oh, there's another merchant, I guess. What do you want? Heard you have a problem. Ah, if only we had just one. Highways washed out, forests full of bandits, a river beast blocks the port, and tolls are to rise. Okay. Can't help. We can deal with the river beast. The monster's a possibility. The sorceress said the same, but we've yet to see any results. She's asked me to work with her. And who's to pay your wage? You guys. That's what I'm here to discuss. The sorceress was to manage alone. You can split that reward if you wish. Well, we're managing it together now, so as I see it, you should double the reward. <laughs> you jest! You will double the reward. You'll double what you offered Lady de Tanzerville, because that's what the contract's worth. Westside! So be it. I assume you to be professionals and worth every last copper paid to you. Mm hmm It's a deal. Now tell me what you know about the beast. You're the Witcher, damn it. I've no knowledge of these things. You you're, you you're fast more. becoming that my most hated person elf, here. Cedric, most probably. He's supposed to know all about monsters. Where can I find him? In the village outside the walls. Now leave me be. It's true what they say. Eyes like a cat. 
don't, don't talk about my eyes as you walk away. That's just rude. Okay. Um, passing along the waterfront, the Witcher approached a merchant who was willing to pay for the beast to be slain. Geralt never liked haggling, but he did often, did it often on account of his profession. So he managed to agree a good price. Sweet. All right, sorry about that. I had to go get a drink because I just burst into a fit of coughing. Which is not nice. So this is going to be a lot of run it, run about it episode, I think. If you shit a sheep, I will pay you 500 orange. Why are you there all mysterious? Let's trade. Are you the poisonous guy? Wait. Is it that? Diagram, diagram, diagram. Hardened leather, oil, and twain will make studied leather. So this stuff I think I should really be buying for sure, the whole crafting thing. Have you got any formulas for me, buddy? Anything? Ooh. Plus eight. That's nice stuff you've got. How much it... Can I have that for free? Is that for free? I gave you one... I don't know how to... How do we do this? Can I have it? Oh, it's not for free. I got a little bit excited there. 12 to 18 damage. Oh man, he has got some good gear. He's got some very good gear. Okay, I'll see you again, buddy. Please, please don't leave town. Well, you can't until I fix town. Yeah, everything's good. Thanks, buddy. Right, so... Oh, buddy's through here. Is he... Where are you, Cedric? What's up, ladies? Are you a witcher? I am. You've got to do something about that filthy business. What filthy business? The crook selling the poison is going unpunished. Oh, okay. Where is he? Just selling incense. Incense is only a cover. People get addicted to it, lose their senses. It's like this tech. You must shut down that shop. Close the shop, and the citizens of Flotsam will reward you handsomely. I'll talk to the trader. Okay. Little shop of dreams. He does seem kind of relaxed. But let's see. We'll, we're we going to have to pick either way. In Flotsam Town Square, Geralt met some inhabitants protesting against the shopkeeper for selling dubious herbs. As you know, witches and herbalists always meet a version. But in this case, it turned out a little different. The protester's leader, Matilda Sazob, Sazabu, asked Geralt to make the shopkeeper close his business. Close your business. Welcome to my modest shop. Are you selling drugs? Should we just come out and sell it? Yeah, let's. What do you deal in? All kinds of incense, mainly. For meditation, rejuvenation, cooking, making medicine, rituals, whatever you require. I mean, he'll come in handy. I don't. I don't know if I want it. Tell me, go away. Wow, he sells them for eleven each, and I've got to sell them at what? One balls to that. You know what? For your prices, kind of want to. If we're going to get him to close shop, I, I kind of want to get some stuff off him before he goes. So could we have the Viagra? The Vigra? Increased resistance? Oh, not sure if that's a good thing. 
Maybe it is. May never buy that off you. No, no, you know what? Just close your shop. Get the hell out of here. Are you selling drugs? Your sense is a strong drug. A drug here? Never heard such nonsense. A lady told me it works just like Fistech. Perhaps everything works like Fistech on that lady. I get it. Let's do the Jedi trick. Hey. They say one of your senses is a, a drug. A lady told. Perhaps everything works. I know there's something unusual about it. Here we go. West side. All right. I admit it. I've traded in incense for years. It, it was an ordinary scent. How could I know it would have such an effect on people? Anyway, I can't ban them from using it. Um. Are we going to bamboozle them? You've lived with these people since childhood. Why would you want to poison them? You're right, Witcher. Before you close up, why don't you give me the formula for that incense? Watch it, Witcher. I kind of want to see what the... Here we go. Can we not read this? Oh, no. The real formula. That sword versus this one. You know what? I think we're going to go with... I think we're going to go with that. As daft as it might seem. Right, I done it. I, I sorted it, Matilda. <clears throat> I did. Here's your award. What did you give me? Um, I'm not sure. Did not tell you anymore. Just a load of music. Thanks. Thanks for the music. <clears throat> Do you not? You really don't tell me what you gave me. We got a guess. We got the same amount of orange. Have you? What did you give me? Take all of this stuff. Right, I mean, we could go back in there. Let's see. You think getting the recipe was difficult? No, not at all. Geralt brought the information to the scholar at the harbour. No, I didn't. Not yet. Uh, the Assassin King. Da -da -da -da. The reward gladdened the eye and loaded the money bag nicely. Geralt moved along, the spread of justice and prosperity. All right, he went off to do his job. I never got anything extra. I was at 400 orange anyway. I think this game is broken. Right, we're going to go. Oh, no, we wanted to see see a man about a dog. Greetings. Um, no, not you. Dog bag. Nope, none of you guys. Where is it? Indecent proposal? Nope. Uh, matter of price, we've done that. Where are you, guy? So he's outside the walls this way. Let's go. Just want a quick word with you. This is all going to be like prep for. Oh, oh what? Where might you be going? Uh, I'm what kind just of come for a walk. That? Anyway, know where I can find an elf named Cedric? Don't get involved in this. Hmm. You did turn pale when you met Sheila. You must have imagined that. If you don't want to tell me about it, that's fine. Never mind. I'll find out for myself. How? 
We're going hunting together. Right after I find Cedric. Well, then let's go see him. He should be at the top of his observation tower. We are going witch hunting. Does he lose them often? Well, I, I lost one in a dragon, but I found it instantly after because I had DLC. So the moral of the story, little boy in red. Far too much red, by the way. Are you a girl? Are you a girl? I'm not even sure. We're not going to carry that conversation on. Really? Just logs. We'll take all your timber. Why two swords? I seek the elf. Does he lose Cedric. them often? Any of you know where he is? What's your business? I need to know if the forest's safe. How am I to know if that's truly what you seek? It's common knowledge that you're racists. Oh. Don't worry, we'll find Cedric. I heard the Can village tell is me? home to someone who knows monsters. That'll be Cedric. Talk to him. Where can I find him? Top of the tower, near the way out of the village. Thanks. That guy would have overheard me. Top of the tower near the village. Um, looking for a tower. There's no tower. What are you? You're like a blacksmith type deal. Does he tend to lose them? Kids, if you keep asking that question, I'll stab you in the neck. Why does he need two swords? Does oh, he's he top to of this tower. Okay. Uh, Chris, how did you get over there, lovely? Did you magic yourself over there? Why does he need two swords? I'll, he I'll gut you. Them? You know what? Get away, kid. We gotta go this way. Morning, ladies. Wait, Cedric, is that you there? Are you Cedric? Or are you up here? It's the top of the tower. This is more like a tree house than a tower. Must be. Nearly a year now. Moril would delight in a day like this, Saharan. Enjoy the memory of her. Don't wallow in the long. I try. I do. But I cannot believe all the bad blood this disappearance has bred. Don't let others' shade poison your memory of her. Hatred is but an outlet for helplessness. Thank you, Cedric. That failed. Cedric, you're a very knowledgeable. Hey, why, why are you spinning like that? Very knowledgeable man. Are you Cedric? Who asks? Geralt of Rivia. Ah, the Witcher, and Tristan, Tristan in Marigold. Lovely scent, Trist. Mm -hmm. Cedric, look at me. What do you <laughs> want, Geralt of Rivia? Hey. Hey, you've got a lot to talk about, but let's see what you got to trade. So, you got lots of stuff. Ranged weapons, yes, you have them. Essence of death. And a troll tongue. That's A troll tongue sounds pretty valuable. Holy shit, that's almost all of my money gone for a troll tongue. Look at all the things that I can actually get. Ooh. Ooh, 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 hold on. A Karen trap? That sounds like something we need. Do you mind if we get one of those? A de oh, I thought that said Devil's Sphincter. But I read Devil's Dancing Star. I don't know why I was thinking about sphincters. 
That's not normal, I don't think. What's lures? Get baubles. Oh, I thought it was fishing lures. It's not. It's lures for drowners. Lure for Adrigas and Ar Arakai. A harpy lure. Neckers and trolls. And a rot fiend. They're pretty cheap for the lures. I guess they only work for a wee while. Got some bombs, some traps. How do we make this thing? What is it? It's an armor enhancement. 5%, 5%, 5%. Needs a Chiron skin. We need an iron frame, oil, iron ore, silver ore. Have you got something to tell me about how to make an iron frame? No. Well, I'm kind of shit out of luck. Okay, we had fun looking in your shot. Hey, hey, come back. Um, who was that guy? The elf woman you were talking about. How did she disappear? Sir Harim believes the forest took her. What do you believe? Moril simply vanished almost a year ago now. Some say she was too beautiful, and Dwan must have harmed her. You believe that? If I have no evidence before me, I try to trust my feelings. And they tell me the forest did not take her. Why would you keep that from Sir Helen? Because it's meaningless. Perhaps she was murdered, perhaps she departed on her own, never to return. She's gone. And neither I nor Sir Harim can reverse that. He's a very logical man. I hunt I'm monsters. I'm hunt in this area, and I can use some advice. I'm no witcher. I set traps, snares, try to keep Neckers away from Lobinden. That's all. I'm aiming a little higher than Neckers. The old man? Meaning the Cairn? Finally, Laredo's splurged. Listen, I'm not one to teach your grandmother to suck eggs. You witches know your work. But if you pay me, I can prepare a useful trap. What kind of trap? Puncturing trap, immobilizing trap, even decoys to pull monsters into an ambush. Whatever you like. Since I can easily finish off an ensnared Necker, it should be child's play for you. Um. Also, he'll do the crafting. Have you got any work for me? I need to make a few orns. You wouldn't happen to have a job for a witcher, would you? There's never a shortage of work for a witcher in this forest. It's positively teeming with beasts. Though I'm not surprised they come here in droves. Know why that is? Cursed places attract all sorts of scum, like dung attracts flies. There was once a great house in the clearing. They locked up lunatics there. During the war with Nilfgaard, it was raised in a fire. The lunatics broiled in their cells. The ruins remain cursed to this day. Two daredevils went off to explore the ruins recently. They haven't been seen since. Oh, well, we'll go check that out, I think. Tell me more about the building itself. It was an old manor house that was converted into a mental institution. There was no shortage of lunatics in wartime. They just kept coming. Reverend Mercey locked them up in there and looked after them. If you find the two people lost in the ruins of the mental asylum, you stand to be handsomely rewarded. By them or their families. Yeah, I'll give that a go. No, I'm trying. Hey, come back! No, no, we're not finished. What are the Squayatel fighting for? Do you ask about the old ones who hoped to restore our race to its previous glory, or about the young ones who fight for survival and out of suicidal revenge? Yorvith's warriors. Which mold do they fit? They the young ones they are still independent, and that there is but one just way to view their cause. In truth, however, they're but a shadow of the Enche's former glory. They cling to delusions to the very moment when a sword or a noose ends their life, or until they realize the truth themselves, which is, I believe, the worst. Okay, what's your job? Who exactly are you? 
One who warns humans against the dangers that lurk in the forest. Care to clarify? I am old, even for an elf. Yet the forest is older. I've lived in it for years and understand it, though it's nothing I can explain. At times I make mistakes and people don't come home. So you help humans? I just know if it's safe to venture beyond the gates or not. Are you drunk? Maybe I'll come back when you're sober. You witches live a long life. You may indeed get to see that day. He's wasted. Okay. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. I aim to kill the Karen. Heard you might be able to help. That depends on the sort of aid you seek. I need information. We should have killed it years ago. No. Now I don't know. The beast has become too large for the riverbed. And it has strange growths on its tentacles. Extremely thick skin. Previously, it inhabited a swamp along one of the Pontar's tributaries. Completely wild terrain. Even the Scoia'tael don't venture there. You should go see the wreck of the boat it recently sank. Inspect any traces it's left. See the destruction. Where's this wreck? Venture south into the forest, then turn east toward the river. You'll find the ruins of a bridge erected long ago by the Enche. The wreck lies at their foot. Thanks, Cedric. You've been a very nice man. Well, Tris, sure you're not overusing those teleports. Yeah, yeah, you can. Can I come through here? Pitch. No wonder your nose is bleeding. Can't walk anywhere. Lazy bitch. Yeah, I'll pick herbs. Take all your mushrooms. Hello. Hello, buddy. Are you okay? Lovely day. I think that might be it. I think that might be it for this episode. In the Claws of Madness. So we've got a lot more quests to deal with. Uh, do you like the ghost stories? Are you going to hear a lot of them? Ghosts appear in the first time in the story in Flotsam. And a house standing in the depths of the forest, but let us start at the very beginning. It all began when Geralt was talking with Cedric. The elf told him about two men who headed for a ruined mansion. A place where the mentally ill had once been kept and had never come back. The witch was intrigued. He decided to see what happened to them. Uh, the witch found the elf, questioned him about the monster. He learned that the poisonous mucus covered the beast. So that a single touch of its tentacle could fell a towering man. Geralt decided he needed an antidote, but to make this, we never learned anything about about that. We learned about growths and extremely thick skin. We didn't we didn't know about anything poisonous. Um, we first need a sample of the mucus, so we embark on an expedition to the monster's lair. And Triss joined us, well, in a fashion. She buggered off and left us. Uh, right, we're going to take this one back, hand it in. Huzzah. And then... I think we're going to go talk to the woman, maybe? Perhaps? Is it about that time at night when we can... We can go see someone else? Hurry up, Geralt. Making a meal of getting down that ladder. Down. So we're over in Labendin. Put some pants on, man. What's wrong with you? Legs will get cold. Wait, who's this? This green dot over here. At the front of the house. In the house. Eat something. Get some sleep. Stop annoying me. Wait. Where's the green dot? Are you the green dot? No? My damn sacrum. Aching and thumping. I don't know who the green dot is. Oh, you're the green dot here? No idea. No idea. Okay, let's go. You want to head on back in. Hand that quest in. The one to... Uh, get the 
get the formula. Can we go this way? Oh, I think we can. I think we can avoid everything. Are you my man? Where is he? You're downstairs now. You would be. You awkward shape bag. Hey, you're back. No, working my ass off like a stagecoach. I want well, to sleep with you for all the gold in Tameria. Wait, who, me? Greetings. Good day. Good day. What's your name? You're Millie. I think she just cold shouldered that guard. How did it go? Did you get the formula? I did. Your hat is really annoying me, by the way. It looks just weird. I'm not about to give it to you. Unless you give me some money. I did, but I'm not going to give it to you. We'll meet again, smart arms. Hey! Come here, smart arse. I'll push you in the water. Geralt found the recipe, but on his way to the scholar, he changed his mind and did not give it to him in the end. He learned the man did not take the refusal well. A menacing, we will meet again, smart ass, echoed in the witch's ears as he walked away. Well, he actually ran. Um. Well, shit. I mean, I don't want to give him, give it to him because he'll just start selling it. That was my, that was my thinking behind it. Whoops! I think, I think we may have upset someone. So we're not going to the shop. What, what other quest did we have to do? Is the indecent proposal? And we'll be doing this one in the next episode. Where is it? Just inside. I'm not sure. Are you inside? Are you on the outside? Just here. But at night time. Or... I think the stew's ready. It's here. Okay. Morning, chaps. Wake up. Okay, you know what we're going to do? We're going to meditate because we've not done that for a long time. We've got no talents to spend, but we will do some. We'll do some alchemy. We'll make a few more swallow. Does it tell you how many we have already? Not sure. We'll make a couple, a couple of swallow. We'll make a couple of bombs. Couple being four. What's Rick? What do you do? Damage dealt with swords. It's a potion. Sane intensity is pretty cool. Golden Oriole. I think we've made a few of those. We'll bump up the bleeding as well. Can we do it? Can we still do it? Yes, we can. Well, we can make a lot of these, so we will. Cool. Let's have a look at our character. If we go to attributes, there's something we can do, I think. So we have... Abilities allows the use of information during conversation in order to obtain. Uh, sorry, intimidation during conversations in order to obtain information or on other benefits. We've leveled up our Axie sign. 
a level one persuasion. We got some damage reduction. How do we how do we upgrade these? I guess just carry a lot, maybe. Hmm, interesting. Uh, the best tactic meeting a dragon pretty guards, no exceptions. Dragons are immune to poisons, I'm worried. Right, cool. There is so much so much stuff to do in this game. We got when did he say? Did he say dusk? Right, we're not going to drink potions. We need to just wake up. Wake up little Susie. And we're going in here. Um, Wait, is it not the evening? Pretty sure it's the evening. Oh well, screw it. We'll do it next time. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and I will catch you tomorrow.